Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamcrow here, aka Scoop, back with the Pokemon Battle Federation Season 8, Week Number 7, and we're taking on AAA Battery, coach of the Evansville Dew Waters. So, we are. He is sitting at 3 and 2. He's got this game and one other game to make up, and we're sitting at 6 and 0 right now. So, we're putting, uh, putting our undefeated uh, season on the line here in week number seven. I thought about just forfeiting and not giving out any strats, but I felt like I could just uh, try to get some kills with Mankey in this matchup and see what happens from there. Anyways, we've got a Focus Sash uh, Diglett with Arena Trap, Earthquake, Sucker Punch, Focus, or excuse me, Rock Slide, and Stealth Rock, Jolly, so that we can outpace everything on his squad. We've got uh, Mankey, which is a Choice Scarf U Turn, Close Combat, Ice Punch, Final Gambit variant. And I'm thinking about leading off with it and just clicking Final Gambit versus uh, <laughs> versus the Dew Powder because I don't want webs up, but I don't necessarily know if that will knock him out. I'm actually going to check and see how much uh, HP that Dew Powder would be at if he was like bulky. So 23 is the highest he can sit at. Our main key sits at 21. Um, I think we can just lead off with Mankey, and if he leads off with the Dewpider, we can just click, uh, he leads off with the Fungus though, so not terrible here, and we can just U-turn out into Badoo, he could switch, I guess switching out into Dewpider now would be problematic for us, we do just a little bit of damage though, not anything significant. Hmm, I think we can just go into uh, Baby Jane here, or Badoo, and set up a layer of spikes. Set up a layer of spikes here, no reason to do anything else. He goes out into the, uh, the Dew Pider, so that's unfortunate. He is able to get his webs up here, which could be problematic. Hmm. We're going to go out into our Osril, and if he goes for the Sticky Web, we're going to Encore him into Sticky Web, assuming assuming that he doesn't have anything else to go for. If he goes out into the Amoongus, or the Fungus, we can soak it and then Toxic it. So we'll just Encore here. Oh, he's actually faster than us, which is a little bit unfortunate. Props are uh, Berry Juice, though, so that's a little bit fortunate, I suppose. Um... Now we do have to go back out into our Dupider, or excuse me, our Badoo. That Scald did way too much. Scald did way too much, so we gotta get our uh, Badoo in here. Hmm. Well, like I mentioned, we did have uh, this team, or this battle doesn't really matter for us. We're just, uh, we've got the number one seed clinched, so let's synthesis up here and see, see how much, see what he wants to switch into. He might want to switch out into the, well, I guess he doesn't have anything really to take advantage of me outside of the, uh, Bisharp, so that's nice. So his Encore should wear off here, or the following turn, okay, it's going to be the following turn. So we can set up another layer of Spike. As he goes out into the pond, you're not too big of an issue. Unless he's a uh, Swords Dancing variant. Could be problematic there. Hmm. I think maybe our best play is to go... So we're gonna keep our um, core fish around. So we're not we're definitely not gonna lose that bad boy. We're gonna keep Badoo around so that Fungus can't just put anything to sleep. We can always switch this bad boy in. Maybe maybe it's Ozzarill's time to go down already. Hmm. If he goes for the swords dance as I go into the Ozzarill, I could lose Ozzarill and lose a big chunk on 
Diglett too, but if we go into Diglett as he attacks, then he will easily be able to knock me out on the following turn. Mm, tough call. I'm going to go into the Osril. Uh, reason being is I don't really need it. It doesn't benefit me too much. And he goes for the knockoff there. And I think I saw life orb damage. I think I saw life orb damage there. Um, I'm going to click soak. Oh, it's such a big play. Let's see, he went for the life orb. I mean, he, he went for the knockoff. He showed life orb. So we know he's not like choice bandit or choice scarf or anything like that. I guess we can just click soak here. As he, uh, as he actually just sets up rocks. So not a bad play there on his part. Getting his rocks up. Because now our, uh, had we went into our, oh man, he might be, uh, Shed Shell actually. That wouldn't be a bad set here. Um, we're going to click knock off on this turn. Oh, he knocks us out with the Iron Head. Okay. Okay, so that did a lot. <laughs> that did a, that did a butt load. Let's see here though. He is life orb. Ponyard, life orb attacker with the uh, water type. No secondary typing. So we can swords dance up with corefish and then at plus two. Aqua Jet doesn't quite do the job because he's the water type. Um, let's see here. We could go into the Mankey and just start spamming close combat. Let's see how much uh, close combat does to at plus one because I will get the Defiant Boost thanks to the Sticky Webs. We've got Mankey here. Plus one close combat will will not to hit KO. But if I can get rocks up with uh, Dougie versus I got to get rocks up versus something. Unfortunately, I can't get them up right now. I think I have to go for fish and just swords dance. And if he goes to the fungus on my swords dance, then he might be in range of uh, double edge. So yeah, I'm going to go into core fish here and just set up a uh, swords dance. Yeah, just going to set up a swords dance here and then go for the uh, aqua jet after that. As he goes straight into the fungus. So he's got to be like max defense here. He's got to be max defense here. And we're just going to click the double edge. As Giga Drain doesn't, isn't able to knock us out. But he's able to do quite a bit of damage to us there. And this double edge does nothing. It bounced off. <laughs> it bounced off. That's a little bit problematic. So. The play now. What is the play now? Not having rapid spin on Star Mace hurting right now really, really bad. Um, the fact that that did so little reveals that he's like max defense. It still doesn't make sense how little that did. Let me double check there. Double edge is 57%. Which is like the lowest row possible. If he's max defense. Let's say he's. Hmm. The sticky webs made him faster. Which is problematic. Uh, like I said, we could go into Doug Trio and click Stealth Rocks, get those rocks up, and then start putting in work with Mankey. Maybe, uh, I think Staryu still outspeeds here, 
and can knock him out. Let me just double check my set here and make sure that I have something to hit this with. I do have Ice Beam. So I could go into Starmie here and just click Ice Beam. Uh, he could go into the Depider expecting an Ice Beam. But, how much is Depider? So Ice Beam, okay, after, okay, I might be able to, I think I'm going to go Star You here. And click Ice Beam. And then if he switches out into the Dupider, we should still be faster here. We set at 12 speed. And we are, we, okay, we are able to knock out the fungus. So that's nice. Let's see what he wants to go into here. And whatever he goes into, will it be able to knock us out? Ball toy, level 5. This sets at 12 speed, so it could potentially speed tie. So he goes into this, the Ponyard. Which is a life orb variant, and with knockoff, it should should uh, should be able to do the job here. But hmm, what could we do? What do we do on the following turn? Is the question. We go into Mankey, then what? Then you turn out on his protected ball toy, so that we can potentially close combat spam in the late game. Hmm. Hmm. We could go into Badoo here, but if he straight goes for the, uh, if we go into Badoo and he straight goes for the Swords Dance, we could just lose right there. So maybe Hydro Pump is our best play. Just gonna click that Hydro Pump here. Yeah, he knocks us out with the knockoff. And we can go into Mankey here. Our speed will drop, but our attack will be boosted by times two. So that's nice. And at this point, hmm, I don't know if we should start spamming close combat yet. Ball toy, level five, Mankey. Plus two, say you're 236, 236, bold. Um, close combat, will to hit KO. I'm just gonna go for the close combat here. Unless he's berry juice, we will to hit KO him. Please don't be berry juice. He is berry juice. A little bit unfortunate there. Ah, so U turn was definitely the play. Could have potentially knocked him out with U turn, especially at plus two. So, the play is to go hard into Duck Trio, or excuse me, Diglett, and get up my own Stealth Rocks here. As he uh, gets rid of those, actually. So, we're actually going to set up Stealth Rock once again, and then we're going to Sucker Punch on the following turn. Ooh, he's actually able to knock us out. So, there's that. Now we can go back into Mankey, and hopefully be able to outpace him still. Unless he is a uh, running speed investment, we should outpace him. Actually, we outpace anyway because we're choice scarf. So we can just U-turn out here. We knock him out. Knock him out there. And we go into our Badoo. Let's see if Pondu knocks, knocks out with knockoff at this range. I think it does, but let's find out. Okay, so it's a roll. If he's uh, jolly. Um, so what we're gonna do? Hmm. We can just click spike in case. In case he went for anything else, we set up a spike there. Now he's in range of close combat. Well, he's always in range of close combat. And now let's see what we can do here. We 
we just click close combat. It doesn't matter what he does, we don't have any other play. We can, however, see what some of these mons top speeds can be. So Oshawa tops out at 15, so it's a potential speed tie unless it's Choice Scarf. I think Tyrant is the same thing. Yep, tops out at 15, so that's a speed tie as well. Next question is, how much does Dupider take from Mankey at plus one? So he's going to come in on Stealth Rock. And i got to put myself at plus two. And we could potentially knock him out. If he goes hard into the Dupider here, I think we can win. If he's uh, if he's not Choice Scarf, Tyrant, or Oshawa. And we win those speed ties. And he goes hard into the Oshawa. So smart play there, not going straight into his uh, Dupider. As that would have been a huge misplay. But he is afforded to go into Dupider now. Where if it's a uh, if it's Eviola and any kind of bulky investment, it will I can't I can only two hit KO it from this range. However, well it's my only play, so no need to really calc. Whoops, no need to really calc here. Uh, just click click close combat, see how much we can do, and we do fifty seven percent. No way we can live his attack. He goes for the Scald. Yeah, that's going to knock us out. And that's going to be a good game. <laughs> really, really tense there. Uh, Sticky West is really hard to play around. I should have brought Rapid Spin on Star Me. Or Star You, excuse me. And yeah, I was hoping he would go into uh, the Dupe Hider there at the end game. Uh, let me just say GG. Uh, so yeah, good game to AAA. And that's going to be the end of season seven for us we're going to be going into the playoffs as the number one seed and looking forward to that um look out for a uh, playoff picture video with some maybe an award ceremony video as well might might do that kind of two in one video kind of thing um nonetheless good game to the evansville de waters a little bit unfortunate there i uh, really thought had we had our uh had we been able to keep our spikes up oh man that would have been awesome especially had we went straight for the u-turn on the ball toy Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, I knew it was a little bit too early to start spamming close combat, but uh, I saw that as long as he wasn't berry juice, it would have been a fine play. Unfortunately, he was berry juice, and that's going to be a good game. So uh, he picks up a 3-0 victory, and we pick up our first loss of the season. Not too big of a deal. We didn't take this one too seriously. Um, just wanted to get some kills with Mankey. Anyways, that's going to be a good game. Let me know what you thought about the prep and the plays on both sides of the field. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All the good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.